Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries March 1, 2023. You can be especially curious, busy, and connected these days. However, in your personal life, your focus is less on putting things out there and more on creating harmony. Making peace with family or building a beautiful, easygoing environment at home is most important to you now. Transits today favor bringing more love and attention to your personal life, especially as the day advances and your focus improves. You're willing to put in extra effort to make life easier or more comfortable in the long run. The moon will spin through the heavens of Gemini today. This will be a period where you'll be eager to assert yourself, as well as feel more energetic, spontaneous, and enthusiastic about getting whatever it is that you want in your personal or romantic life. For singles, you may feel the impetus to step out into the world and start something fresh, perhaps taking the leap on a first date or reaching out to someone who has curious nature. If you're feeling excessive energy to express your libido, do so assertively but make sure everyone's on the same team. Communication is potent now, so use it wisely. Stay flexible. Come hell or high water, you can get through anything. Lean into your inner tenacity while the moon is in Gemini since your workday might be more discombobulating than anticipated. The multitasking moon will throw a few curveballs your way. Unforeseen issues may arise at work, or there might be unexpected twists in your workplace conversations. No matter what pops up, you can get through it as long as you are determined yet somewhat easygoing. Just know when to let certain things roll off your shoulders to get through your workday. What makes the timing of the moon's return to your work sector is not just that this will get the new working week off to a good start. This last visit before Mars leaves is also the last before Mercury and Saturn and not only leave your income sector but are moving towards an alignment. The next few days will be a valuable and timely chance to bring all the different threads together from across the income, work and career fronts. Your concern for others brings you closer and closer to the feeling that you need the same kind of concern for yourself. Maybe it will mean getting hurt a few times before you learn that setting boundaries is useful for you. Start paying attention to your boundaries through following a more organized health regimen. Taking care of yourself sends out messages to others that they must take care with you. Also, remember that drinking enough water and other fluids is critical to maintaining healthy blood circulation. The making and spending of money will be prominent on this day. This presents you with an opportune time to reevaluate your current budgeting system and investments. Further, if you are heading a large project in your career, this day can work very much to your advantage. With this essence in the air, you are more able to spot loopholes and potential trouble spots. Make use of this. Every four weeks the moon will leave a playful and creative part of your chart and return to your busy work sector, highlighting a need for a balance between work and play. The moon will leave behind planets that can keep the momentum going on the playful and creative side of life's fence, but its return to your work sector kicks off a pivotal few days across the income, work and career fronts. As the moon's last visit before Mars leaves, this will give you a better sense of where to direct his drive and competitive spirit as you move into some of the busiest weeks of the year. The moon's departure from your romantic sector will see the romantically charged lunar vibes of the last few days run their course but with a new sense of anticipation this time. This last visit before Venus, the planet of love returns has been a taste of things to come, awakening your heart ahead of what can be the most romantically charged weeks of any year but also the prelude to a lucky year for love that begins in May. Our eyes in the sky. The Gemini moon is stirring up gossip today. Keep your focus on networking and reaching new people and you should find the attention and validation you seek. The sun and moon find themselves in a wonky position to one another, so try not to worry too much about what others might be saying about you. Remember that true confidence comes from within and doesn't rely on how others view you. The moon in Gemini is wreaking havoc with our sleep. Unfortunately, if you find yourself tossing and turning throughout the night, an unbalanced aspect between the moon and Venus could exacerbate feelings of fatigue as the morning unfolds. 
A scattered vibe is likely to manifest during the first part of the day, when the Moon and Mercury engage in an off-kilter connection. If you're struggling with disorganization, take the time to rethink your daily responsibilities and reassign any tasks you can put off for another day. It's the week for conjunctions as several planets meet up in the same signs. The first is Venus conjoining Jupiter in fiery Aries on Wednesday, creating the best date night of the year. If you're single, you could find the person who lights a spark in your heart. Enjoy the exhilaration of falling in love again and again. Spread the love to others when Mercury conjoins Saturn in Aquarius on Thursday. This is an ideal day to put in the work to make your community a better place. Start by doing some volunteering, community organizing, or reading about social justice issues. End the week on a dreamy note when Mercury enters Pisces, also on Thursday, encouraging us to use our imagination as we dream of spring. Over the next two weeks our thoughts become more creative and artistic but a little delusional as we see the world through rose-colored glasses. Just after midnight, the first quarter moon in Gemini invites us to reflect on intentions set during February 19's Pisces new moon. At that time, we were encouraged to combine intuition and dedication to create something of lasting significance. We may have undertaken this initiative to heal ourselves or to honor a loss. Yet now, we hit a snag in our plan. Distractions force us off the devotional path. Conversations interrupt our progress or confuse our objectives, scattering our attention. It is important that we remember that healing is not linear. Life continues to go on around us, even as we are sorting through our emotions and personal choices. Instead of seeing this issue as something that has derailed you, look for lessons within. What can the Gemini moon teach you about finding curiosity in the moment, instead of trying to transcend the moment or be elsewhere? Your mind will be running in circles. There will be so much information coming at you that it will be next to impossible to make any sort of decision. Go with your first instinct and don't waste the rest of the day second-guessing yourself. A short time later, the moon sextiles Venus in Aries, making us outgoing and social. Our vibrant attitude and charm help us to make new friends or catch up with old ones. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and we can expect our dreams to be pleasant and stimulating. Memories of past experiences or previously forgotten information pop into our minds. Keep a voice recorder or journal handy to log these reminiscences when you awaken. They may prove useful in the course of your day.